In this video, we will discuss profile tolerances. There are two types of profile tolerances to consider, profile of a line and profile of a surface. So how are we to understand these tolerances and how can we use them? Well, first we have to be clear on what exactly a profile is. A profile is the outline form or shape of a line or a surface. To illustrate, in this example, the blue area is the object and the red border is the profile of this object. The profile could be the outline of the whole part or just a portion of it, perhaps shown in another view like a detail view. The line profile could just refer to the edge of the part, but the surface profile outlines the form or shape of a complete surface in three dimensions. In this way, profile tolerances are quite similar to form tolerances in regard to the type of features they define. Both form and profile tolerances control lines and surfaces, but profile tolerances are a lot broader in their uses. This is due to the fact that profile tolerances can control lines and surfaces of any shape. For example, in just a moment, you'll see a uh, more unique surface here. This surface in green on the front of the part could not be defined with a flatness or cylindricity tolerance, but it can be controlled with a surface profile tolerance. The profile of a line symbol can be used to refer to straight lines, arcs, or other curved lines. The profile of a surface symbol can be used to refer to flat surfaces, spherical surfaces, or cylindrical surfaces. What is the purpose of using a profile tolerance? The profile tolerance specifies a uniform boundary along the true profile within which the elements of the surface must lie. An example of this will be seen shortly. There are two symbols used to describe profile tolerance. One is for lines and the other is for surfaces. This one here is the profile of a line and this one, the profile of a surface. The profile of a line tolerance may be directed to a line of any length or shape. This tolerance is used where it is not desirable to control the entire surface of the feature as a single entity. In this example, the profile of a line tolerance is directed at the radius of this part by means of a feature control frame. The tolerance zone established by the profile of a line tolerance is two dimensional, extending along the length of the considered feature. The tolerance indicates a tolerance zone consisting of the area between the two parallel lines shown in green. They're separated by the distance of the tolerance, which is 5 thou in this case, as shown in the feature control frame. These green lines are not only parallel to each other, but they're also parallel to the uh, the basic form, the ideal shape of this feature being tolerance. Unless otherwise instructed, the tolerance zone is equal about the basic profile. In other words, if the profile of a line tolerance is 10 thou, then the tolerance zone is 10 thou total, and the profile line is in the middle of the tolerance zone. The tolerance zone may be considered to be bounded by two lines enveloping a series of circles, each having a diameter equal to the specified profile tolerance. Their centers are on the theoretical basic profile. The benefit to using this example, showing the tolerance boundaries enclosing circles as shown in this example, is that it reinforces the equal bilateral nature of profile tolerances. In other words, it is crucial that the tolerance of a given profile is split equally on either side of the line. As shown here, the circles must be anchored to the center of that ideal profile line. If the profile of circles is moved either up or down in order to accommodate for inconsistencies in the manufacturing process, it is no longer a valid tolerance. To put it simply, as mentioned previously, you cannot have a larger portion 
of a tolerance on one side of the profile than the other. So to review, if the tolerance is 10 thousandths of an inch, there must be 5 thousandths of an inch on either side of the ideal profile line. When a profile tolerance applies all around the perimeter of a profile, the symbol used to designate all around is placed on the leader from the feature control frame. And that can be seen right here as this circular mark placed at the elbow of the leader line. When the profile tolerance is not intended to control the position of the profile, there must be clear distinction between dimensions that do control the position and those that control its form or shape. This simple part shows a 900 thou plus minus 10 thou dimension that's controlling the height of the profile. This dimension must be separately measured. The radius of 1.5 inches is the basic dimension and becomes part of the profile. Therefore, the profile tolerance zone, being that it's a 6 thou profile tolerance, the zone would range from 1.497 to 1.503, as shown in, by these blue lines. In addition to this, however, because the height of this feature is controlled separately, this feature, this profile on the top, is able to float up and down, provided that it maintains its form within the tolerance of this height dimension. So in other words, if this 900 thou height dimension is manufactured at the bottom end of its tolerance to 0.89, then this uh, profile tolerance can still be true, provided that the actual profile, the radius and profile of this feature stays within that 6 thou profile tolerance. If the same tolerance is intended to apply over the whole surface rather than lines of line elements in specific directions, the profile of a surface symbol is used instead. The profile tolerance is usually directed to the view showing the shape of the profile. Profile of a surface tolerance usually requires reference to datums. In this example, the whole surface of this part that you see has a 0.2 millimeter surface profile tolerance. So the part must stay within the 0.2 millimeter tolerance in form, orientation, and in position when the dimensions do not have tolerances.